here everybody I'm glad you're here I'm glad you're here for this adventure I just woke up from my little spike out tent and I drove uh, all day yesterday I went from you know 500 feet all the way now we climbed elevation to we're 9,300 feet right now and we're at a, a big national forest up here in Colorado. And we are going to be living in the woods for a week. And what we're gonna be doing up here is uh, going after elk. My first time going after elk, so I wanna share my experience on um, getting ready for that and all the things that I've learned. We're gonna be doing uh, some fishing and then we're just gonna be doing some, some camping. Today's goal is to set up base camp and just kind of get all of our, our food and supplies organized and really look at some, some mapping. I got up here so late last night, I drove in in the dark. So I, I didn't have time to really see what was going on. I literally just pulled into an open area, set up my spike out tent. I've got everything that I can put into a backpack and really go into the woods, into the great unknown. Uh, and then I've got my big, Really, it's like an elk camp tent, big canvas tent, sleeps like six people, and that's where I'm gonna put most of my gear and kind of set that up in an open space. And y'all, we need to get a fire going. I literally, when I left Texas, it was like 95 degrees. Right now, it's probably in the mid 50s. My hands are cold, but I had a great night's sleep. There were some things staring off in the woods. I don't know what they were. I just slept great. Listening to nature, uh, stars were amazing. We were out here in some of the most beautiful country uh, I've experienced yet. I've never been to this area. Y'all, I just gotta say, before we get into the rest of this thing, this is one of the rare things you can do. Well, I'll, I'll say intensely American that you can just get in your car or your truck, load it up, and just drive somewhere, go out west, and just come out to one of these great national parks and experience nature and really not run into that many people. You know, I hardly, I saw like three people camping uh, in a gigantic area. I think this area is like 400,000 acres or something like that. Thick woods, mountains, streams, you name it, it's here. So we're gonna see some awesome stuff this week. Now let's go set up base camp. I'm so excited. Wow, I was wrong. Got down into the 40s last night. I was wondering why I was so chilly. I was like, surely, surely it's not that cold. It is 41, my hands are shaking. One of the most important things when you're out here, you don't have any cell phone service. You will not have cell phone service if you go to these national parks. I use this Garmin GPS device. I Bluetooth to my uh, smartphone and then I can look up maps. And before I left, I downloaded aerial maps, topos, everything where I can get a clear picture of like the creeks, you know, the mountaintops, all the little ridges, you know, areas that I can look for with elk. And then the other thing is an app called Onyx. And then Onyx allows you to really map out your adventure. Uh, both do really. Onyx, you also have to download before if you don't have any cell phone service. So you, you gotta make sure you download the map areas. My buddy JT, he's helped me map through some of these things and he's given me a couple of camping spots that might be good. And I wanna be just totally secluded, which I don't think we're gonna have a problem with <laughs> out here. But um, I'm just excited to start the day. I'll set up base camp. Whew, got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it.
one of the really interesting things about hunting here is the contrast between private land and public land and they overlap each other quite often i've seen a lot of signs you know private property do not trespass and then it'd be 100 yards from a national park sign so it's it's pretty imperative that you know that There's signs that say keep out i'm sure they'll shoot you up here in the rockies down here in the hollers it's out here we've got a couple of camps set up it looks like wow Jeez, this is just amazing. These views, though. This is it, y'all. This is where I'm gonna set up. There's a nice stream down here, so I got a water source, and I just need to find a good flat spot that I can set up the tent. My tent's huge. We are golden to spend a week here in the woods. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is crispy, delicious outdoor greatness. Move, cow. Move. Uh. Oh, cow, dumb. This is what is so strange about this. There's just tagged cattle out here on these public lands. You gotta get to moving now. Man, that looks like some delicious beef. I think that's a decent view. I think we could work with that. We found it, y'all. We found it. I'm going to camp right here in the middle of this valley. There's trout in the stream behind me. Um, somebody camped here before. Had a little, uh, little fire right there. Um, this is really some of the flattest ground that I could find. Now, if I had, like... A lifted truck with four-wheel drive, I could get off the path a little bit, but since I'm by myself, I don't want to get stuck. And this isn't just a regular tent. I did a review on it before in another video. It's huge. It's basically a home. And it was down in the 30s up here. I've climbed. Let me check our elevation here. We're at 10,259 feet right here. Uh, it is crispy at night, so definitely want to have a fire. Uh, I didn't even bring a heater. Um, what is this a postcard no it's just my channel right now my crate basically houses different stuff but I've got my propane in there I've got my hunting bag I've got like some some go-to things that if I need to just drop the tailgate grab something real quick I can do that and I've got some of my cooking supplies this is what I'm gonna be cooking on this week this is my little cast iron um, skillet top so it's got a flat side and do eggs pancakes if you want to if you don't get into that category I'm not on this trip. I just noticed I'm a little more out of breath than I am usually <laughs> because of the altitude. Wow. So, and then when I roll this baby out right here, this is it. This is the deliciousness. I cleared this thing out before I left and I just put the essentials in there. Um, I've got my arrows up top. I've got my fly fishing rod right here. I've got my, my binos, range finder, things like that. Kind of got them in categories. Um, this bag is my essential bag. This is like my survival gear, basically. I've got lighter matches, knife sharpeners. I've got multiple knives in here. I've got straps, like everything to keep knives sharp. You know, when I first saw these money bags, I was like, huh, yeah, I could put some lures in there. I use them for everything now, y'all. So if you haven't checked out these money money bags, they're money. They're really good. Um, in here I've got like toilet paper, we've got toiletries, you know. I've got some body wipes, things like that. I'll keep myself clean out here. I can always jump, jump butt naked in the river if I want to. Got a hatchet, got a thermosel, got a machete, got a chair. Up here is my Coleman grill. Baby's a little dusty, but that's what we're gonna be cooking on. I can always do open fire, and I've got that uh, flat top skillet. 
if I wanted to just do straight wood if I ran out of propane, so that's all good there. Tin foil, gotta have it for them. Not Golden Krispies, we're gonna be putting them in some butter and some pepper. When I got this uh, truck cap put on, literally had these types of things in mind, in vision. And it's perfect for adventures like this, so it's pretty clean kept. Dead gum. I am out of breath. It was important that I get a water filtration system, kind of like an IV. You put your dirty water in it, you hang it up high, it runs into a filter, filters into another bag. Uh, it's made by Platypus, which is also another bag. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, I'm realizing the uh, 10,000 feet issue. Out of breath right now. We need to get some coffee in our system, y'all, and get some food. And um, this, this tent camp thing could take a long time, I'm telling you. I hope I don't pass out up here. Got that heat going, got that coffee. Awesome thing is I've got a water source 80 yards away, so I can just walk down there, get more water if I run out. This is a great base camp. Can't be happier. Oh. I'm just soaking this in right here, y'all. Wow. 8.34 in the morning. Oh, delicious hot coffee. We got eggs and ham. And we're gonna get some trout in the cooler eventually. I love to hear the sound of that river or the stream. Only thing that would make me happier is if I had Steph and Emmy here. Like, I wanna bring the, them on this trip for sure. You guys get to experience it through the lens. Uh, and I try to encourage you guys to go out there and experience it. For yourself because there's nothing like it this this just resets you totally resets you i like the outdoors a little bit if you can't tell shut up fuel up make this tent happen Awesome. Look at this. Stand right up. I can do a little dance in here. Do a little jig. This one took a long time to get right, but it's good. I got all my breezeways open. And now I'm gonna set up my cot, set up my bed essentially. I've got, I got room to set up all my gear in here. You know, I hope it doesn't rain, but if it does, I'll be a-okay. One thing to keep in mind if you do come up here drink you lots of water. I am very, very parched. The altitude just works you harder. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not terrible. We've got our sleeping bag here. We've got my cot set up. This Teton pad, I can't tell you how crucial it is. It fit perfectly in my spike out tent. But in here on a cot, oh man, now you can lay this just flat on the ground and it's amazing. So that's a lifesaver. I have another one um, for my, if I'm taking just on my backpack and it folds up into this and you have to blow into it. This one is just a huge pad, so much more comfortable, but it's huge. You can't carry it around on your backpack. So I've got this one. If I need to spike out, which I probably will, got my pillow getting ready for this evening. Uh, it's got some space age foam in there, letting it pump up. Uh, and this, y'all, is my humble abode uh, for the next week or so. Up under here, I've got the availability to store all my goods, clothes, put food in there, snack. I've got this little thing as well 
Also made by Tetons, just a little cot accessory thing. You put different stuff in it. Got my, uh, you know, my charger so I can charge my stuff out here. You know, water, phone, GPS, put whatever in there. Tons of space over here for any activities that I want to do, or uh, I'm thinking about moving my coolers inside. Maybe that's a bad idea with the bears, I don't know. First time being in the woods with the bears, that's for sure. So it's getting about time for a little snacky poo, and then we're gonna go out and get some food. We have to get food and water for our camp, which means we're gonna be doing some fishing. So I'm gonna leave you guys right here. Um, one more thing, if you wanna check out some of the new merch, Go to GuggenSquad.com, link is down in the description. Uh, this month we're offering some special Lunkers TV, who is, uh, he's actually about an hour and a half away from me right now, just knee deep in Elks. We might see an appearance from him. I just heard, heard from him on my GPS, but he's got some special merch coming out this month, and then we've got some other, just some goods. You, you definitely wanna get your hands on that one right there. Just fall hunting Guggen Squad. We're all about it. And uh, I'm out of breath. So, hope you guys enjoyed this camping setup video. There's a lot more to come. And the hope is we're going to get an elk down during this trip. So stay tuned. Subscribe right here. Go ahead and smash that like button. And I'll see you on the next one.